form for the recurrence relation given by a sub 0 equals negative 3 and a sub n equals the previous term plus n. So first to provide some inspiration let's look at a few terms of the sequence. So a sub 0 is given to be negative 3. a sub 1 would be the previous term which is negative 3 but added by n which in this case is 1 so we're going to add a 1 there on the end. a sub 2 would be the previous term which is now a negative 3 plus 1 but then added by the n which is a 2. Notice how I'm keeping it in its current form so I can look for simplification. a sub 3 would be again the previous term which looks like this and then added onto the end would be an n which would be 3 in this case and so on and so forth. So what does a n end up looking like? Well it's looking like we're going to have a whole bunch of parentheses with a negative 3 right there and they're going to have a plus 1, a plus 2, plus dot dot dot, plus n minus 1 and then finally we're going to add on that nth one. So can we find a way to write this in a closed form? Well we can using all of our simplification tools and formulas known from other classes or previous uh, material. So it looks like a sub n we have that negative 3 for sure at the beginning but then we have this 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 all the way through n. And of course, as we've seen several times in different proofs and different, uh, different examples, the sum of the first n integers is n times n plus 1 over 2. So actually that completes the problem. That's a recurrence relation. That's a closed form. We can just plug in n. But just for simplicity or for uh, politeness sake, let's see if we can simplify this a bit. So it looks like that's a negative 6 over 2. And this would be n squared plus n over 2. So we get n squared plus n minus 6 over 2. And we can simplify that a little bit further into an n plus 3 times n minus 2 over 2. So interesting little simplification there. But we have a, a closed form of n plus 3 times n minus 2 over 2 for this particular recurrence relation.